your cravings are definitely going to depend on who you are, um, how much you're addicted to alcohol, uh, how long you've been drinking. Uh, there's a whole lot of different variables. So some people are going to get mad cravings and other people are not going to get many at all. I used to get a lot of bad cravings uh, when I tried to give up in the past and this time I didn't. I think my uh, mental uh, frame of mind was I was just in a different different way of looking at things. Um, there's different ways of uh, dealing with your cravings. Some are physical like uh, getting good food into you, having a good sleep, um, going out and getting some exercise and there's other things that are quite, you know, they're, they're in your mind, things that you can do in your head to try and push the thoughts of alcohol away. One of the things that really worked for me was uh, just playing uh, the movie over in my head. Now, when I got cravings, I'd basically fixate on the pint of Guinness. Um, I'd fixate on my mates being at the bar, the uh, comradeship, the, you know, the atmosphere in the bar, that kind of thing. So it was all very focused on getting into the pub and getting that first pint of Guinness. So what I used to do was I'd, I'd, I'd think about and I'd run the whole thing, the whole scenario through my, my head from the start to the finish. So the movie would start in my own head, uh, me walking into the pub and getting the first pint, smelling it, tasting it, knocking it back. Then I'd go to the next pint and the next pint and the next pint and keep drinking like that until I was gradually getting more and more drunk the end of the night, um, I'd have the barman tell me to get the hell out of the pub because that was it, it was time to go home. I'd be staggering home, I'd you know, be at the door trying to fit the key into the door for a half an hour before I could get in. When I opened the door, it's very dark inside, it's very cold, it's very lonely. Um, I'd go upstairs, I'd you know, go to get into bed and it'd be very cold in the bed and very, like I say, very lonely in there. Um, the room would be spinning around, I'd feel ill, and I'd basically fall into a, 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 a comatose sleep. Then, I picture myself in the morning waking up with a, a horrible hangover, with dry mouth, headache, feeling ill, and feeling very depressed about what I'd done the night before. Then, I'd reverse the whole thing. So, I'd run the whole tape backwards. So, I'd go back into bed, fall asleep again, I'd wake up, room would be spinning and I'd stagger down the stairs out the door back into the pub where you know they wouldn't be too glad to see me and um, all the pints would obviously come back out the barmaid would hand me a dirty glass um, and I'd fill it up and give it back to her and for a full pint she'd give me money I'd put the money in my pocket and then she'd give me another dirty glass I'd fill it up and this whole process of work for the rest of the you know the 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 movie um i'd end up leaving where the barmaid was delighted that i was going wishing me all the best um i'd have a full wallet of money and i'd be stone cold sober and then i'd imagine that the uh beer would go back into the barrels the barrels would be picked up by um by the the brewers they take it to the to the brewery they put it in these big uh, caskets and they'd separate it out into the various components the water, the hops, the the malt couldn't do anyone any harm again so that was the movie that I used to play and it really did work for me you know, it, it sort of got me out of that uh, initial phase where I was just viewing the pint of Guinness and the comfort of the pub to seeing what was at the end of the night your mind is one of the most powerful tools on this planet and it can really help you to achieve whatever you want in life but it can also destroy your life i mean it's the one thing that's going to put you back on the drink and it's the one thing that will make sure that you never drink again